The Plex server is a fantastic way to organize and stream your collections of movies, TV shows, music, and photos. But that doesn't mean the server is perfect. And in fact, over the last 10 plus years, I've had several issues with the Plex server. So today, I'll show you eight issues and then the simple solutions. I'm Michael Scott, and this is the Ultimate Tech Hub. The first Plex server issue is media is currently unavailable offline or not showing up at all. And this is the most common issue I've come across using Plex. If you see the dreaded yellow exclamation point next to your server, then that means it's offline and not available. But don't panic. The reason this occurs is that you need to reestablish the connection from the Plex server to your external device, like your TV or laptop. This often means your Plex server is not running, which means it's turned off or signed out. The simple solution is you want to sign out of the app on that device and then re-sign back in using the TV link option. And this option will give you four random characters like letters or numbers. Then next, go back to your Plex server, make sure it's turned on and you're signed in. Then open a new browser window and type in www.plex.tv forward slash link. And then type your four characters right here and then hit link. And now your device is back online. Bam. And this process works with all your devices, like TVs, laptops, smartphones, and tablets. The second Plex issue is remote streaming is not working. So what's the point of having your own Netflix without remote streaming? Well, for this, you'll need the Plex Pass. The current lifetime Plex Pass is $119, but will go to $249 on April 29th, 2025. So get it while it's cheap. The Plex Pass feature gives you the perk of watching your content anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection. Though sometimes remote streaming fails to work reliably or not at all. In most cases, incorrect port forwarding rules or not being signed up for the Plex Pass are to blame. The simple solution is first, sign up for the Plex Pass, and second, make sure that remote access is enabled in the Plex server settings. It should be green and it should say, fully accessible outside of your network. If it's not accessible, then click the port forward box and then hit apply. And then manually forward port 32400 in your router to allow external connections. Remember, port forwarding does come with some security risks, but port forwarding your Plex server is very safe. Just make sure that your router is using the latest security protocols and you're all good. And for example, we watched movies in Paris while staying in our hotel and our Plex server is in Las Vegas. However, our stream was a little slow, but that was due to the hotel Wi-Fi and not our server. The third Plex server issue is slow library scanning, metadata issues, incorrect titles, missing media, and no movie posters. So you put together a Plex server primarily for a well-organized media library. So when it's not organized, you've got a big problem to fix. This issue usually happens due to improper file naming, large media collections that take forever to index, or slow storage speeds. To speed things up, follow Plex's recommended naming conventions. A simple format with movie title and TV show name with the correct year and episode sequence should do the trick. So keep the file names simple as possible. If your NAS has an SSD bay, storing metadata and database files on an SSD will improve scan times. And those old spinning hard drives are notoriously slow. If the metadata is still wrong, manually refresh the library and consider using third-party metadata tools to fix any issues. And then lastly, you could look up the movie posters yourself and then add them manually. And here's a quick look at my movie titles and data. All right, the fourth Plex server issue is audio is not working or codec is not supported. Broken or no audio playback often occurs due to unsupported codecs or incorrect audio settings. But from my experience, it's usually unsupported codecs. The simple solution, if Plex says the audio codec is not supported, you need to go into the settings and enable automatic transcoding. This should fix the compatibility issues. For surround sound setups, make sure your playback device supports DTS, Dolby Digital, or other relevant formats. And ensure both audio settings match your Plex server and your client device, like your TV or laptop. And be aware that some older TVs only support stereo sound. Finally, if you experience audio lag or audio delay, you can try re-encoding or recompressing the file. And also check network congestion, which can cause audio delays. And one last thing, if your audio and video were recorded separately, you can use video editing software to synchronize them. And remember, for your best results, your video and audio should be recorded together and not separately. 
Okay, the fifth Plex server issue is subtitles not displaying or being out of sync. Watching your favorite high emotion Korean drama without subtitles could leave you frustrated or with hilariously delayed emotions. It could go either way. While this issue can result from incorrect subtitle encoding, timing mismatches, or unsupported formats, there are a few easy fixes. The simple solution is try using an external file in SRT format. SRT files are widely supported and I use them all the time and I have no subtitle issues. Most Plex players allow you to manually adjust the subtitles during playback and this should resolve any timing issues. And using media files with burned in subtitles can also prevent incompatibility issues. All right, the sixth Plex server issue is buffering, stuttering, and no video playback. This usually happens due to network congestion, slow server performance, or insufficient transcoding capacity. The simple solution is to make sure your NAS has enough processing power to handle Plex. If you're streaming remotely, you can lower the streaming quality to match your internet speed. For local playback, use direct play instead of transcoding. And if possible, switch to a wired connection because wired is more reliable and faster than wireless. And one last thing, make sure to enable hardware accelerated transcoding. This setting should improve your performance drastically. All right, the next Plex server issue is high CPU usage due to transcoding. If your Plex server seems sluggish or slow, then transcoding is the likely culprit. And this occurs when Plex has to convert the video format when that format is not supported by the client device. And this conversion puts a huge strain on the CPU and this will cause Plex to be slow and sluggish. The simple solution is to once again, enable hardware accelerated transcoding. And most NAS models support this feature, so use it. Also, converting high bitrate files into a more efficient format, like H.265, which also can reduce the workload. Ideally, you should store your media in common formats that do not require transcoding. You should use MP4 with H.264 and AAC audio. And yes, MKV files are more powerful, but do require transcoding. All right, the eighth and last Plex server issue is the server crashes and becomes unresponsive. The majority of these crashes are caused by memory bottlenecks, high CPU usage, or outdated software. And there are two simple solutions. First, make sure your Plex server is up to date with the latest version. If it still crashes, Check the CPU and RAM usage, and closing unnecessary background tasks can help in the short term. However, hardware upgrades will be better for a long-term solution. And that takes me to the second simple solution. Consider running Plex on a dedicated NAS instead of your computer. When you run Plex on your home computer, it's fighting for resources that are being shared by other tasks. Also, if your library is large like mine, make sure to clear the cache and rebuild the database often. This can resolve issues caused by corrupt files. And if everything fails, you can reinstall Plex to give your server that fresh start it needs. Remember to always update the Plex software to keep everything running smoothly. And guys and gals, make sure to check out these videos right here, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.